Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to replace a computer case fan. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, this is actually my old computer, and there are a few different fans that you can see here. There's a fan right here for the power supply unit, and there's a computer case fan right over here. This basically just allows the air to flow um, through the case for better ventilation. It's actually really easy to replace, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Let's just place this down over here and angle it like that. Um, all that you'll need is potentially a screwdriver. It all depends on how it's set up. But the first thing that you wanna do is remove either the side of the case or the whole case to expose the internals of the computer. And you might have a screw that holds it in place. In this case, I just have a thumb screw. So I can use my thumb and I can remove this screw over here. Okay, so I'm turning it counterclockwise to remove it over here. And uh, this will be a pretty quick video. We're just at our, about the one minute mark right now, just over the one minute mark. Um, it'll be a pretty quick video. I promise you that it's really quick. So I've now removed the thumb screw and I'm gonna pull on this and that will actually allow me to remove the side of the case, as you can see right here. Um, and it'll expose the inside. And as you can see, it's not even that dusty. I've actually never cleaned the internals of this computer and it's not even that dusty. So that to me means that it's done a great job. You know, either my house isn't that dusty, which my house is pretty clean, but it's done a great job at bringing that, that air out of the case and, and getting that ventilation. So as I said before, there is a fan up here for the power supply unit. There's a fan down here, which is the computer case fan. There's also a fan over here around the motherboard area, but we're gonna be replacing this one right here. <clears throat> All that you essentially have to do once you've exposed it is remove the screws that are holding it in place, okay? That should allow you to actually remove it and then remove the plug of where it's plugged into with regards to the motherboard, okay? And then you can replace it. It's actually really easy to do. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, and I'll, I'll tilt this up so you can sort of see where it is. It's also for my own records too. I have it on video now, so I know exactly where it plugs into. So it plugs in right over there, as you can see. That's where it plugs into. So we can just go ahead and just uh, directly unplug it. Um, it might be pretty tight in there. So, you know, obviously, uh, you know, try and get your hands as small as possible. Um, so I've now unplugged it. As you can see, I've unplugged the connector. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on these screws. There are four screws over here, I believe. I already have the Phillips head screwdriver, which is what is required. So I'm gonna remove these four screws. Um, I've never removed this computer case fan, so um, these screws are probably in here fairly tight. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove these screws completely. Um, like I said, some um, computer case fans might be held in by different means. In this case, it's just held in by these four screws. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to remove them. As you can see right here, um, once I get to a certain point, it might be easier to remove them with my uh, with my fingers, but I think at this point, it's easier to just continue using the screwdriver. Okay, really easy, just like that. There's two of the four. The third one is being removed right now. Actually, let's remove the bottom one first. Um, it's just easier to work with um, the fan hanging from the top screw than the bottom screw. Uh, it's less likely to rotate. If it's hanging from the bottom screw, it might actually rotate to the side. Okay, if it's hanging from the top screw, it'll likely just hang there. Um, it's more likely to just hang there, okay? There's the third screw. We should be almost out. Yeah, I can move it. We're just one screw away. There's this fourth screw right over here. It's the final one holding it in place. Um, once this is removed, the fan should just pop out. Some computer case fans might be clipped into place. Um, this one I can tell you is already out. So as you can see right here, it's already out. What you wanna do is you wanna get a direct replacement for the computer case fan that you are using, number one. So get a direct replacement in terms of size, power, uh, capabilities and everything. So get a direct replacement. And um, you also wanna angle it in the same way. So I can't take this and put it on like this because now the airflow will be different, right? Computer case fans are designed to either bring the air into the case or out of the case. Um, so you wanna make sure it's the same orientation. So I would get a replacement. I'm just gonna be reinstalling the same one but i would get a direct replacement that is the same fan same power same capability same everything same size okay and i would actually 
I would actually install it in the same orientation, paying attention to the direction of the blades. There's also uh, potentially an arrow pointing in some way, but I would just pay attention to the shape and the direction and orientation of those of those fan uh, fins over here, and I would install it again. So what I'm going to do now is I will take the exact same fan. Like I said, you're going to be replacing it with a new fan, but I'm just going to take the same fan and I'm going to just install it um, in, in on the case again but you would obviously be doing this with a new fan. So I'm just gonna put the screws in place like this, at least one screw in place, just to make it a little bit easier. And I'm going to put the screw in and we're gonna try and line it up so that it, um, let's try and angle it properly. Try and line it up so that it actually um, properly makes connection with the fan. That one's giving me a little bit of difficulty. Um, uh, that's because it's the wrong, I believe I just put that in the wrong hole, that's why. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, make sure you put it in the correct hole, which in this case is this one over here. So the screw's in place. I'm going to line it up with, make sure the fan's in the right orientation and the right direction and stuff. And now I'm going to put it in the correct hole in the actual fan unit itself. And that will secure the fan in place. Okay, once you get one screw in place, it's a lot easier. Let's let's turn this a little bit. You know, I'm trying to do this fast because I don't want the video to be super duper long. But at the end of the day, sometimes you got to just take your time. Um, there's no rush. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to try and get it in the correct hole. There we go. So it is now in the correct hole. Now that I can see it's the right way, I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it in place. I'm probably just gonna loosely put them in place right now, just so you don't have to sit through this video and uh, and it, so it's not like super long. Um, but obviously in a real life situation, I would be um, installing them nice and slowly, properly, getting them fully in place. But for now, I'm just kinda getting them in place so the fan is not gonna go anywhere. But like I said, in a real situation, um, you know, I would take my time and I would install them absolutely perfectly. But in this situation, I'm just trying to get them in place so I can show you how to do it uh, with regards to the process, okay? Actually, I mean, you know what? I might as well just install them properly. You just gotta line everything up. That's the key part. Sometimes it takes a while to get everything lined up. And obviously, if I wasn't trying to get this whole thing on camera, I would probably be a lot closer to the machine and it would be a little bit easier to actually get these lined up properly. But because I'm trying to catch it on camera, it is significantly harder because I'm about three feet away, get right two, two and a half feet away from the machine, from the computer. So as you can see right here, you know, you would screw these in properly, okay, all the way. So it's nice and secure, just like this. All right, and once the fan is nice and secure, then you're just gonna make the connection that I showed you before. There we go, okay? So, I mean, like I said, I would probably take my time and do a little bit more securely, but that fan is, is in place. That's not going anywhere, basically. Off camera, I'm probably gonna tighten it up a little bit. And then you're gonna take your connector for your new computer case fan, which is right here. Make sure it obviously has the same connector, and you're gonna plug it in place. Now, like I said, I'm significantly far away from, from the computer, so it's probably gonna be a little bit difficult. And as you can see, my fingers are actually already all cracked from the cold weather that is here when I'm filming this, but I'm gonna do my best to try and plug it in. We're gonna do our best like this. It goes this way, I believe. Woo, I almost knocked over my camera. Okay, let's try one time. See, the problem is the camera's in the way. I can't really get my fingers on the angle that I need to because of the angle of the camera. So I'm just gonna, let's try one more time. I'll move this to the side like that and we'll try one more time now that i have a little bit of a better angle right there come on come on come on there we go ah there we go okay so as you can see right there i've now plugged it in properly again and the computer case fan should be working so that's how to replace your computer case fan a very simple tutorial went on a little bit longer than expected but it is a it is an easy task it is something that you can do with you know little to no um, experience working on a computer because it's not hard to do it's we're talking about replacing we're talking about taking out a few screws and one connector and then sort of putting those screws back in again that's it if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching